Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today I have something that I think a lot of people could find very interesting. The entire idea of 3 different shoes was quite a bit in the tunnel a year ago. Then it kind of died out, which I thought was unfortunate. So I thought I would bring this back with a pair of 3D printed shoes that I found online on Thingiverse. You can download this model for free and print them yourself. So that's exactly what I did. I used three different types of flexible filaments. This one is TPU, Filaflex, NinjaFlex. Just different names for flexible filament. I want to debunk that common misconception that 3D printers can only 3D print hard plastics. It's not true. Okay, it's partly true, but the level of flexibility within, within the plastic can vary a ton. This Ninja Flex is very much like rubber. Is going with a less flexible, more rigid filament better versus straight up rubber? The white TPU was printed on the Tivo Black Widow and it really did do a good job. It's much easier to print TPU than Ninja Flex. So for that reason, this one was printed on the Orca Cygnus. It's a new 3D printer that did such an amazing job. I'm, I'm really astounded by how well it worked. So I will be using that printer for flexible filament only from now on. And it's also the printer that I use to make dual colored print. They, they are quite interestingly built. If you look at how a 3D printer makes something like this, you have a whole lot of settings that you could adjust, one of which being how thick you wish this portion to be. The more material you have, the more stiff the shoe is gonna be. So you really wanna balance flexibility to toughness to layer adhesion. 3D printing works by layers. This shoe was built just like this. In fact, out of almost 800 layers, and every single stream of extruded material is only 0.4 millimeter wide. And with that being said, if we take a look on top, you have a wall here, a wall here, and now we have a, a pattern within called infill, pretty much insignificant. Let's just focus on the wall and the wall, each being made from just a 0.4 millimeter wide stream of material. Now, in comparison to this one, it's made out of two parameters or two walls on each side. So it has two walls, then some infill, and then two walls again. And just look at how much more flexible this shoe is than the TPU version. This is just to put in perspective how incredibly different two materials can be that are advertised to be pretty much the same. I reckon this will be more tough and, and more durable, as well as being significantly more comfortable than this one. And just keep in mind that basically any 3D printer will be able to print TPU, not many printers will be able to print NinjaFlex. It wouldn't be a real life test if we didn't go out to the real world and actually try them. So here I am out in the woods going for a quick run to see just how well the 3D printed shoes holds up. First impression, the orange one feels like you're stepping on a cushion of air. The white one feels more rigid, just like how a shoe normally, normally feels like. The uh, orange one feels like you're gonna break ankles. But hey, let's do it. What's this, kilometer one? I'm dead. Feels great though, the shoes, not me.
I feel, I feel like we covered all the elements. We ran through grass, dirt, sand, kottar, whatever that's in English, rocks. I, I even think we ran through horse shit at one point. You know, I feel like we covered all the bases. They are fine, there's no major damage. I couldn't feel any water leaked in. There's no puncture in the, in the bottom side of the shoe. It all held up together. The only thing I could see was the lash kind of ripped itself apart. That's an easy problem to solve, just put the holes further down, that should easily fix it. I'm super impressed by how well it held together. The white harder TPU was definitely less comfortable, it feels like I wouldn't be able to hold it for that much longer, contrary to the Ninja Flex which felt like nothing. It feels like you could wear these the entire day, no problem. The time it takes to make these, 30 hours each, a total of 60 hours. The material is not that cheap either, it's uh, probably... 25 30 dollars each as well so let's say 50 dollars so if you would like to get yourself a pair of 3d printed shoes they're gonna be two thousand dollars there's a one dollar discount code in the description below no but seriously i hope you found this entertaining it was fun to make and thank you so much for watching and have an awesome day bye